Kyle Busch well, will blow up. He's going to blow that thing up, but he is not going to get out behind him. More steam coming out of that 18 truck. Kyle Busch tries to cheat to the outside get to get some air. You heard him say, got to get down. Ahead. He has full truck ahead. That, that's going to hurt the Up performance top. of that 18. That, that, when that thing gets so hot and it finally loses enough water, it'll hurt the performance of it. It'll start to detonate. So give me some air, and you still see the steam rolling out at the base of the windshield of the 18 of Kyle Busch. Is he going to get shuffled out of the way? Here comes the 31 of James Busher up the middle. I don't know if there's any room, but they're there. Oh, there trouble. They go. Problems as they go through the trial, but Austin Dillon is caught up in it. The 31 of Busher is caught up in That's it. That's the rest of the field. Yeah, they're right all there. in it. That's they're all done. in it. There's only two guys left running. Look at all yeah. the damage on that three truck of Austin Dillon's. There was some heavy, heavy, heavy contact. The 18 has got damage and looks like a steam engine. Todd Bodine Todd, decided, this is his second, to climb out. His second go round. He said, I guess that about do it right there, boys. Timothy Peters, that's he was a fourth truck in line. There's Ricky Carmichael. You see the damage on Ricky Carmichael's truck. You know, I believe Man, what are you doing? if the 18 hadn't gotten hot and started this? blowing Speaking steam of getting out, hot, Jennifer Joe Cobb pulls up next to Kyle Bush and voices her displeasure. They just start bouncing around back in there. It was really Brad Sweet in the 32 truck. Maybe the 32 got hooked by the 51 truck. Red that's flag what is it, out. That's kind of what it looked like. They just started moving around. They were wobbling as they were going down toward turn one there. It's real truck gets really free coming through the trial here, especially when you get them three wide like that. That's the 32 behind the blue truck. Looks like he may have got pushed from behind and that got him into the truck on the inside. I believe that, Is that black, Eric Almarola, maybe black, the 51 yeah, truck. That black truck has uh, Almarola. Parker Kligerman. Yeah, Alm Almarola got it going. I think he got in the back of Brad Sweet, possibly. Yeah. And then turned him sideways. And, buddy, when he did. Mm. There's Hello. another view. Hello. Watch behind the blue truck now. Watch behind the blue truck. He'll catch the 29 of Parker Kligerman. I'm not, I don't the think the 51 was into the back no. of him, DW. It almost looked like the 32 and the 18 made some contact. Blocks the track and nobody had anywhere to go. Ricky Carmichael did a nice job going down through the grass to avoid that. About a half a million dollar junkyard right mm. there. Mm. Let's we just keep looking at this. We'll figure it out. The 31 is going to squeeze in right here, and this is what starts to create the uh, commotion. Looking, looking. Yep, here we're going to – you see Busher start wobbling there a little bit. A little, little bit of movement, a little bit of movement. What's the, uh, then the, then the, the, maybe the 93 of Cole yeah. Witt may have got into Brad Sweet possibly, yep. right into his left rear corner. How about Miguel Paluta, that white truck avoiding that's going to end through. up in the third spot right when there. they get to turn one. But, but, Phil, you know, when they start moving around like that, all that movement – you really don't have control of your truck. You talked about it at the very opening of the show. That's You run just as fast on that portion of the racetrack. It's only banked 18 degrees. The things really get free and light coming through there. Three wide here. Looking to make it three wide. Hold your line up top. Reckon. Yeah, that lick, whoever was under the 31 got into the 31 and I think may have started that. And, and we think it may have been Cole Whip. If you can get through this, you're Houdini. That's all I know. Look at this. How are you going to get through here? How are you going to get through here? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yep. What an amazing job, though, by Miguel, Miguel Paluto to avoid this, as well as Timothy Peters.